Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda, where I still have to be kind of quiet, but uh, I'm ready to play Andromeda. So earlier, yesterday when I turned it off, I actually had to come back up here because the Contagion quest wasn't done because I hadn't scanned for the footprints. And uh, even though I had finished the rest of it already. So I came back up and on the way up, Drac, Drac told Vetra, he says, it's going to be okay. And she says, the more you say it, the less I believe it. And he said, doesn't make it any less true. And I was like, oh my gosh. Also, I just saw on Twitter today, apparently pushing your stick, your left stick in makes you run. But it's much less cooler than, uh, than dodging everywhere. Okay, so apparently, also, we need, wait, so priority, geez, okay. I need to prioritize. Hmm. I don't want to do that yet. That needs to happen. That needs to happen. I want. To, I kind of want to go maybe back to Eos, but I mean, while we're here, we might as well do. There was um. What's Reese's? Uh, oh, okay. So I kind of want maybe do I want to ask Reese with help of Reese or whatever, and then I want to talk to Sloan. Only need to reach forty percent viability to be make people happy with me. I guess I don't know. Oh, uh, let's just fast travel. I forgot. It's all the way back over here. I can't fast travel from. Oh, right. Um, yes. Okay. Yeah, we go. Let me out. Reyes. 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 I'm gonna call him Reese forever. Reyes. 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 Bye. It'll be cool to see what this planet looks like with um, without the sulfide stuff. And I do need to get back to Eos just because they um, I'd like to see if it changed at all. I don't think it will really, but But maybe, it'll be cool to see how it's doing. I'll choose military for the next outpost. Well, and it also kind of depends on which planet I do. Like, Kadar, probably is going to get a military outpost. Havarl, uh, probably, well, no. Yeah, maybe a science outpost? I don't know. Not that we're going to actually settle on Havarl because I will avoid the outpost at all cost if that is the end game for that because no I don't want to play a col a, a, col a colonial simulator who's here Let's see Cora oh Cora was by the ship sorry Cora Jaws still in there I don't know who you are Vetra what are you doing Vetra Ah, okay. All right, well, let's go help Jal out, I, or whatever his name is. Reyes. Why are we meeting him here? Oh, man. Krogan. Drag, help your brother or sister. Um, nothing. Nah. Nah. Huh, okay. I was listening to that Coleman conversation. You look like you're waiting for someone. <laughs> That's my line. <laughs> you want a drink or a room? <laughs> Information, actually. That'll cost you more than a round of drinks. My friend's good for it. 
I'll expect a favor in return. You're one person I'd happily owe something. <laughs> uh, what do you want to know? Sia Cordier. She been around recently? You mean your ex? Yeah, she was here. Oh, then, yeah, let's do that. Wait, oh, good. I want to do that. Ex? As in girlfriend? Girlfriend's such a strong word. And we had drinks occasionally, so... <clears throat> she was here? Yeah, met with a Solarian. Shifty guy. Oh, was it the collective guy? Maybe it was the charlatan. Anything's possible. You overhear their conversation? They were planning to meet someone at Sparrow's Ledge. Thanks, Umi. Whatever. You didn't hear it from me. If you check the meeting spot, I'll follow the collective lead. Doubt Zia was meeting the charlatan, but you never know. Is this job about getting your cargo back or one-upping an ex? Why, Ryder? Duh. Are you jealous? What? No, Just that's answer the question. Yeah, no, that's it's <laughs> about the cargo. I'll work my contacts. Give me a call when you get to the meeting spot. Okay. You shifty-eyed. He's a shifty-eyed dude. Everybody's shifty-eyed, though. I was having a really hard time today trying to decide if between Jal, Vetra, and maybe Reyes. There's something... Like, the thing is, like, I don't know if it's, like, you know, me or my rider, blah, 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 um, that it's just... I like Jal and I like Vetra, but... There's just something about Reyes that makes me keep thinking about him. Like, he's popping into my head, you know? Like, I'm like, hmm, what's he all about? Maybe it's kind of the accent. I really like, I like that he has an older face. I don't know, I like older dudes. Well, you can go back on the ship. Go back on the ship, pee pee. Is this the way I'm supposed to go? Transit console to the Tempest? Why? Oh, is Spirits Lodge somewhere not here? Open. They can talk to Korra finally. I haven't talked to Korra and Kadara yet. I am? I'm pretty sure you're good. Where's Cora? What? This is not a ladder? I thought it was. Yeah, that's nice. Where's Cora at? she down? Where'd Cor Cora go? Cora not here? Oh, Cora is... Oh, on the other level. Oh, I just don't see her? You guys need brighter armor. Yo, uh, my thingamajiggy beeped, Liam. What? You doing alright there? Okay, what? What is your problem? What? Oh. Hi. Yay. You okay? What? Oh, yeah, of course. Maybe you should freak out more quietly <laughs> so you don't draw attention to yourself. Shit. Like that obvious? Uh, yeah. What's going on? I joined the outcasts a few weeks ago. Kytus tasked me with collecting protection fees. Thought it'd be easy. But we talked to so many people. I got the names mixed up and banished someone who paid their fee. They didn't protest it? Of course, she did. But they all do. You just kicked her out. No questions asked. You don't have to guilt trip me. I thought oh, yeah, about I looking do. for her, 
But I can't risk Kytus finding out I screwed up. How about I a tail Kytus? Feed my little brother. Our mom's still in cryo on the Nexus. He's got no one else. Does this convenient little brother have a name? Yeah, can I verify Eli, your story? Eli Wessler. I'm not making this up. Pathfinder, there is an Eli Wessler recorded in the Nexus database. Why not uh, this one all then? All right, all right. I'll keep an eye out for... What was the exile's name? Remy Tamayo. She would have gone to the slums for processing. After that, no idea. Uh, the warden might know. Everyone who's banished to the Badlands goes through him. Uh, what an efficient system you have here. I mean, so the bureaucracies always have problems. You know, people always slip through the cracks. There's never a perfect system. Still, this is a, this is not a good system. You know, protection fees. She can't really tax though. This is her version of taxes. I think like she's not a powerful enough bureaucracy to have taxes so protection fees are basically taxes except you know you you get beat and kicked out into a dangerous place if you can't pay your taxes basically so sucks but it's kind of got a press Gil's been asking if you can come by that's right let's go talk to Gil 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 somebody would want to talk to you Gil 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 yeah When's the last time you had a normal conversation? I'm never gonna do it. This is a normal conversation. <laughs> no. This is you trying to figure me out. Categorize my flaws. Put a label on me. That isn't. Everyone on this ship is an experiment to you. And I've got no interest in being a guinea pig. <sighs> Baby. Maybe I should flirt with PB. Hey, yeah. What's shaking? Oh. Uh, uh. I like it when you flirt. I wouldn't want you to stop. Oh boy. Have I flirted with you? <laughs> oh boy. Don't worry, Ryder. I'm relentless. It relaxes me. Okay. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. That was lame. I'm not gonna start over, but I thought maybe that would loosen her up. Well, good luck, PB, because uh, you're not on my list. You're nice and all, but you're not on my list. Hey there. Hey, Yo. yourself. Question for you. Mm. Shoot. When all this craziness is over, you think you'll oh, have boy. kids? Oh, <laughs> boy. Yeah, wow. Where the heck's that coming from? Jill, the best friend I mentioned while I was thrashing you at poker, she's starting the initiative's first repopulation effort at Prodromos. It's all oh, she can wow. talk about. It got me thinking. At the end of the day, this whole thing, the Andromeda Initiative, it, we're basically uh, here to spawn. The, this is, this is interesting, this is an intense, maybe perhaps sensitive subject for a gay man or woman, you know? I get, in this situation, you know? It's nice that they didn't, like, exclude gay people at all in the initiative, you know, because you know, they're like, well, you have to reproduce. And it's like, well, you can still reproduce technically. I mean, like, you know what I mean? Like, there's, like, in vitro fertilization. I assume they have, like, all sorts of stuff in the future that they could do where, like, you could have a kid with both the dad's or the, both the mom's DNA plus a surrogate parent figure, you know? Like, just for the DNA. But, I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't. I don't want kids. <sighs> Those of us lucky enough to live through this. Exactly. And there aren't that many to start. We're a disaster or two away from not having enough numbers to survive. Jill's right. At some point soon, we better Gil, get Gil, take a chill pill, Gil. True enough. Who knew this thing was just a glorified dating service? Gil, I found a boyfriend for you. The biological imperative is kind of a bummer. Uh. You, you can't. Well, no. Okay, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. That one might be stupid. You know what I mean? So, you want to have a child of your own? I... I don't know. <gasps> Gail wants to have That's a never kid! Been a thing for oh me. my god! You know me. Whatever my gut says in the moment, I do. And I don't look back. My mom says that's how my dad was. I wouldn't know. 
His gun moved on before I was born. I had no idea. That must have been hard. Hey, I turned out all right. He did his part, brought me into the world. Maybe that's enough. Thanks for talking, Ryder. Gil, I found your own boyfriend! Hey, Ryder. What's the story? How's your friend Jill doing? Good. Busy. Apparently, prepping multiple species for procreation is a lot of work. Why do you need help? Waiting to get it all started was killing her. Now she's being shot out of a cannon, so to speak. Uh, can't everybody just procreate? I mean, I know you technically, for small populations, you have, I, I would think it would be more of a keeping track thing. But you can't force people to procreate with other people. You know what I mean? Like, like oh, you two have compatible genes, so you have to have a baby. It's like, uh, no thank you. <laughs> you know? Regale me with some poker wisdom. Oh. Well, bluffing and reading players aside, poker is all about math. If the odds of getting the card you need are greater than the bet, make the bet. Okay. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Gil, if you want a kid, I will find you. Uh, I will. I will adopt you a kid. I don't want a kid. Not in a, not in a hundred years. All right now. Wait, Lexi, your dad was Turian. That explains so much. Shh. Here we go. You know how uptight you are. I am not uptight. Not even three hundred years old and fussing at us like a matriarch. Wow, she's not even. I, I thought she was older too. I thought maybe she was nearing a matriarch stage. Oh crap, does Joel want to talk? And Cora wants to talk. Okay. Okay, friends. Uh, okay, okay. Well, actually, you don't want to talk? Are you sure about that? Are you mad at me? Did I do something? Have I glitched the doors? I appear to have glitched the doors. Well, let's leave and hope it fixes itself. Oh, let's see. I've run all the tests. It's non-toxic. If we're going to live here, someone has to take the plunge and actually try to eat things. Dr. Tapero, please do something. Don't <laughs> it, Suvi. You told on me. I thought we were friends. You <laughs> are uninvited from all my parties. <laughs> I love Suvi. Suvi is so funny. Um, mixed messages. What was the one he want? Precious cargo? Well, where is it? Is it, is it on here? Did it glitch out again? Crap. I don't care. Oh my gosh, it is on the planet. Why? Oh, just let me go straight to the dang nab Badlands or something. I don't know where this place is. Maybe I need to walk around. Find it. We're burning we're burning perpetual daylight here, people. Uh, something is wrong with the missions. Like they glitch out. Oh, there's a- oh, dang, you know what? Okay, I know, I messed up. I'm sorry. I messed up. Probably wants me to go to the slums. Ugh. But that- that just confuses me, the way that that's set up. Drac and Vetra seem like a fun- I kinda wanna bring Drac with everybody. Um, maybe, let's see, we'll bring, um... Oh man, Jaw and Liam would be great. Um, let's try Jaw, I guess, for a bit. I don't know if him and Drac will have much to say, but... I think they only talk in the Nomad, too. 
It's kind of nice to know that that's what they do, you know? Like, to know where dialogue triggers. Eh. Is this, what, wait, where? You want me to go out there? Um, Spirit's Ledge. Oh, I thought I said Lodge. I was like, a Spirit Lodge? Hmm, interesting. I guess I could also uh, ask the Warden about the missing girl. I'm looking for a Remy Tamayo. Any idea where I might find her? Hmm, Tamayo, Tamayo. Oh, tomato, yeah. tomato. She's the one who kept insisting she's innocent. She is innocent. The outcast collecting the fees made a mistake. Remy paid up. Well, shit. That's never happened before. Hmm. As far as you know. Don't get smart, Pathfinder. Last time I saw your girl, she was talking with Johan and his crew. Nasty bunch. I'll send you the nav point to their last known location. Prepare why? for the fight. Why? Why? Not why? Why? All right, where are we at? Where are we? Oh wow, back here? Really? Okay. What this area? Whoa! How big is this area? Oh crap! This area is huge. I summon ye nomad. Even the water is like a festering wound that no medicine can heal. Should I send you back to the tempest? <gasps> is that an option? Y yes, <laughs> it is. Uh, you doing okay there, Joel? <laughs> Uh, he apparently has opinions. Capital O. This is just so gaudy. I love it. Okay, this way. Drac, why would anyone near the end of their life take a chance joining the initiative? Why would anyone at the start of theirs join up with strangers like us? Besides, who says I'm old? Who says I'm dying? I don't think I said that. You did. I'm certain I didn't. Now you're saying I'm deaf. Ryder? Nope, not getting involved. Hey, you're not wrong, Jal. I am old, but I got a lot of living left. Jal, and you should know better. You, saw, you see an Ios, I think. Why, why do I have to fight every single thing out here in any in any place ever? Why? I don't want to. I don't care. How does one get back? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna have to take a left up here. And go up this mountain road that's hopefully there. Right there. I mean, sir, what's the benefit? Like, I'm sure somebody's told me already that it's, that it's a good thing to do, but... Wow, we really get zero traction in that mode. That's so weird. <laughs> okay, Joel. Joel. Joel has opinions, capital O, with a little TM copyright sign on the back. Jeez. I've been reading Krogan history. I have a few questions. Careful, Krogan have a saying. History is written by the victors. Krogan do? You're from Clan Nakmore, but you weren't born into it. You chose it. Yeah, the shaman of the clan was strong, and the Craddock wastes were beautiful. And you had a rite of passage? It wasn't so much a rite of passage as a death trip. I survived. Now I'm Nakmore Drek. It's fine, it's fine. I just check the map. Oh, wait, we went the wrong way. Okay, go back this way. I don't think there were actually enemies. I, uh, I think I ran through... Oh, there is. You've been following us. I was like, I ran through some, some goo. Where's the turn? Is it right there? No, turn a little bit. Oh, hey. Uh, howdy. Hi, excuse me. Don't mind me. Nope, don't mind me. 
It was fine. I have things to do. I don't have time to fight all of you. Whoa. Oh, 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 okay. Are we cool? Are we cool? Game's like, fight the enemies. I don't want to. Pretty sure I already. Well, maybe not. Alright, well, I can't find it. And a lot of times those plants are so tiny, it's like stupid. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, are you serious? Oh, my gosh. This game can be really good, but it also just, holy crap, the maps are way too huge, and it takes so long to get anywhere. And yeah, exploring's all good and fun and great and dandy, but when there's something trying to kill you every six meters, it doesn't, it's not fun. I don't want to fight these guys. I want to explore, not kill everything in sight. Yeah, bye. What? Turn right back around. Oh, hi. Wow, okay, that does not hurt you very much. <laughs> All right, now where? You need to take a left. Up there? Or? Yeah. Reyes, you better be worth it. At least a little bit. How many worlds have you hidden? I don't know what you mean. I know the drill. Scourge is a pain, but it helps too. There's more of you out there. Has to be. I don't know what you're talking about. Where'd you learn to fight, y'all? What's your training? From my father. And older brothers. And sisters. And cousins. My mother's. The Resistance isn't an army. It's more than that. What was your rite of passage? <laughs> I, I fell in love when I was a young man. Very young. We met on a farm on Aya. She was brilliant. And her eyes were electric. For years, I suffered with a broken heart. Not what I was expecting. Mm, I understand completely. Oh, apparently, the game doesn't like boosting. It did warn me because of my graphics card that, um... That there might be graphical glitching. What was that electric thing? And the thing is, is like when you kill them, they come back. Like it's not like you're actually liberating the area. They come back. I got the M3 Avenger, nice. Oh, is there somebody still alive? Oh, hi. Is this not, is this not where I need to be? All right, cool. Well, it's close. Apparently. Okay. So I did need to kill these guys. Organic stuff. Oh, hey, you gonna sniff out my ship? 
or my, my vehicle, my ride. Nope, stabbing is fun though. And probably somebody's told me, but when do I get the sword? <laughs> it's just animals. Sp what? Ryder, oh my gosh, you're the worst. You're the worst. Oh, <laughs> speed pop. She is evil. Wait. Nope, you're not a speed bump. You are too big. Okay, let's get out. I'm just gonna leave the nomad there. You're big. Stab you in the butt. Stab you in the butt. Okay. I'm assuming we have to walk up here. Oops. Which means I'm gonna boost you up here. <laughs> No one's here. Meeting must have already gone down. Let's look oh, around. Boy. Maybe Zia left something behind. We're gonna walk in and they're gonna be doing the deed or kissing or something. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what are you shooting at? You still gonna chase us? You guys are persistent. Oh, that didn't work. I'm trying to stab you. Did you just... Did you just have an animation on me? I think he just had an animation on me. Well, um... Looks pretty torn apart. I don't know if it's just junk or what. Oh, we have to go way over there. Okay. Well, somebody's landing. Oh. Supermails have been laced with gold to resist corrosion. Okay. How? Oh. It leads directly to the meeting point. Where does it come from? Yeah, well, that's cool and all, but what is it like an invisible gate? I don't know. I thought it was powering. Apparently, it's being powered from something over here. Maybe? Yay! You died dramatically. Oh, it's a dead drop. Okay. But will it get us... I guess you could leave your crap there. Seems to be pretty obviously a smuggler's den with all this, you know, scrap out here. Oh, oh, no, okay, it's a little Reyes, dead drop. I found a data pad with what looks like a nav point. Must be where Zia's hiding the cargo. Probably left that behind for the buyer. She left it for you, idiot. Whatever happened to just going to a store? Sloan takes a cut from all official sales in Kadara. Gotta get creative if you want to go around that. Did you find anything on your end? The Salarian is a fence. No direct connection to the collective. 
My guess is Zia met him to find potential buyers. Let's follow up on those coordinates. I'll meet you there. Oh boy. Where are you gonna be? You gonna be? Where are you gonna be? You gonna be in there? Oh no, you're over here. To a point that I haven't found. I, really, I got that close and didn't grab it. I can say the same thing about this one. I guess I'll go grab it. Oh my gosh. What's a big guy doing down there next to my freaking nomad? Like, right next to the nomad. <laughs> I... Oh, can't see you. Can I lock onto you? No? Ow. I figured. I can't lock on. I can't lock on. Bye. Don't mind me. I'll just roast you from back here. Oh my gosh. There's so many of you. Why does everything want to kill me? I never did nothing to you. See, now this place is being taken over by all the wild animals. My lovely parking job. I do love, though, that you can get over, like, anything in this. Quick, call down a forward station. Why why is there an auto, why is there a deployment station there? Uh, dang, you're oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's out in the middle of nowhere. Well and how oh, I have to take that path? Okay. Jeez. Okay, here we go. Oh, I got, okay, I know. I got that point for, for adding another station to the area. Why was your galaxy called the Milky Way? It's not. But Liam said it. <laughs> Milky Way is what the humans call it. We have our own word, Salarians of theirs. So, what do you call it? It's 600 years away. I call it gone. I wonder if I could do all, like, I wonder how much, how much of a viability you can get in each area without doing the monoliths. Okay, I need to go left. Wow, no, actually I went the completely wrong way and turn back around. Uh, like you look at your little nav point there on the top part of the screen and you're like, and you're like, ah, oh, sweet, oh my gosh. Uh, you're like, sweet, I'll just, head straight there on the path I see in front of me. But sometimes it requires going off in very extreme directions. Right? Yeah, sure. Let's just fast travel there again. And this time I'll try not to mess up. Mm-hmm. It's a little animal. I need to go... Right... Yay, I did it! Wait, is this a way? I don't think this is a way. Nope, it's not. Oh. Track. When I mentioned the woman who broke my heart, you said you understood. Yeah, I did. Can you tell me why? Did someone break your heart? Hearts. Krogan have four. And I'm not saying shit. <clears throat> I understand completely. I'm gonna get out here real quick. See if I can get Jal talk to this lady. Yeah? 
The Resistance could use someone with skills like yours. We have enough to deal with here. I'm not leaving my people. If we don't take the fight to the Ket, your people will never be safe. And what would you know about it? The Pathfinder and I have seen what the Ket can do. In time, they'll come for Kadara. For you. If you join, you can make a better world for your people. Not just on Kadara, everywhere. When you put it that way, ah, I yay. guess I don't have much of a choice. At least go to Vold and talk to them. Fine, I'll go check it out. No promises. Cool. Stay safe out here. No problem there. I knew it. I knew I knew that. Well, I was hoping if I brought Jaw, it would make a difference. I wonder if there are other situations like that out here. Or any in this game, you know? Pretty cool. Oh, this reminds me of when I used to drive ATVs. Ugh. Lean back in the seats, everybody. No, lean forward, sorry. Lean forward on the seat when you're going up the hill. I like that my tires get dirty, though. I like that a lot. Bye, creature from the Black Lagoon. I wonder what everybody thinks of my driving. Drac probably doesn't care, but I wonder what everybody else thinks. Oh, what? I miss? How did I miss it? I was so close. Okay, I'll get it. I'll get it after this, I guess. Yeah, because uh, he knows her. He knows her. Everybody okay? Uh, what? She, oh, by the way, I'm pretty sure Zia really just wants to talk to you. Like, she just tried to get her attention. It's empty. What if this was all just some elaborate trick to get you here? You mean, there was never any cargo? Bravo. I knew you'd figure it out eventually. I told you! Zia. It's Shepard! Hi! You could never resist the big payout. What can I say? I'm a greedy man. That's why you don't have any friends. You're selfish. Reyes is a better man than you think. <laughs> oh, honey. You've no yeah. idea how wrong you are. But you will. Leave her out of this. You must really like this one, Reyes. Sorry for the facial Cut the stuff. Shit. What's this all about? Rendering. You've been taking all the good jobs in Kadara. It's gotten more than my attention. So what? The local smuggling union got together and decided to take me down? Something like that. Ah, oh, shit. Move in. You're welcome, Reese. Return to the Tempest. What? You're not gonna say anything? Oh, my dude. My d really? You're not gonna say anything? We just killed your ex-girlfriend. Oh, cool. The outlaw sharpshooter gave me some points I didn't have. Well, well. So even the customer himself was that a that was a lie. Cool. Ah. Okay. I mean, something else beeped at me, but I don't... What? What? Is it below me? Reese, really? You're not gonna say anything? Reyes? Reyes, you're not gonna say anything? Okay, whatever, whatever.
I knew I wasn't popular, but I never thought the other smugglers would team up against me. Kind of flattering, actually. You'd be smart to keep a low profile. Discretion is my forte. Mm. Ah, all that effort and no credits to show for it. Obviously not. Everything not. Has to be about credits. That's true. What you uh, said back what there. What do you mean? About me being a better man. Ah, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Hmm. I should clean up this mess. I don't even know you. Was a piece I, I don't even work, know you. It feels wrong to leave her out in the open. Go on. I'll take care of this. Yeah, humans have a pretty particular way of treating the dead, even the enemy. Is this your ship? Cool, I like it. Little shuttle thing. It's nice. Mine's better. <laughs> Except yours can fly. That's what I... Re okay, I, I know we're pretty late into the game, but I wanted... I wanted a flying vehicle. I'm like, it's the future. I was sure they were going to give us some sort of flying shuttle thingy. Kind of like the Destiny, like, little crotch rider motorcycle things, you know? I was sure we were going to get something like that. Nope, they give us a freaking car again. I mean, it's cool, but it doesn't fly. I was very, like, just like, you know, like, like basically skimming over the ground. Anti-grav. I'm like, give me an anti-grav vehicle, please. To Noville. Where is it? Uh, how do you know I'm an excellent driver in reverse? There we go, now it's showing up. You know, that would be a more feasible thing to do, the jumping, if the front of my car wasn't so heavy. Oh my gosh, you're gonna put something where I can't get it? Are you really? Just give it to me. Okay. Wait, we're in battle. Okay, I was like, I was gonna travel, but... Thanks, we're at 20% already. Dang. Are we done? Can I fast travel now? Apparently I have to return to the Tempest for something. Uh, where are we at? Where do we want to be? We don't want to be there, we want to be here. What's that? Oh, that's probably the girl. Maybe. Maybe? I'm not in combat. Why? Why, why do you say that now? What's this? Oh. Huh. Looks like remnant tech, but it's pretty different. Oops. Yes. Sir, so, and the amount of... I mean, the amount of quests I get is ridiculous. Like... I mean, this is borderline Skyrim ridiculous. I mean, before with Mass Effect, it was like... You know, oh, hey, yeah, I got a lot of quests, but it was they were really easy, straightforward to do. And I like story-based quests, but I'll be danged, why do they give me so many? Like, I like story-based side quests, but why? Why do I have so many? Then I gotta talk to Sloane. Gotta be friendly with Sloane. That's fine, though. We worked out a deal. I mean, my shepherd is passionate, but she's not stupid. She can be, you know, but not always. That was definitely a situation where she was trying to... What? Okay. I'm supposed... Oh, right. No, I am supposed to be going to the Tempest. That's right. Yes, because to finish Reese's thing or something, we have to go to the Tempest. Because in the slot where it had Reese's or Reyes, yeah, Reyes is, sorry, Reyes's quest. 
uh, it said go to the Tempest. So, if you try and seduce me, bucko boy, I don't know if it's gonna happen, though. Jaws is the best sweet talker so far, I'll be honest. Petra's cute, and I feel like her and my rider would get along really, really well, you know? Ugh, I just can't decide. I can't decide. There's too many options. Rider, could I kind of... Oh. Oh, what? Well. Check your email and respond to Reese. I don't Raise. believe it. Gills reconfigured our entire nav array. O'Connell risked a dozen spacewalks putting that in place. Damn it. Callow, don't. Take the helm. I've had enough of this. Ah, it's come to a head. You don't give a damn what my team and I went through to build this ship. No, I don't. I care about us surviving out here, and if that means redesigning... You don't have the right! All right, let's talk this out. What's going on? I'm doing my job, and he's undoing it because... Hell if I know! You weren't here. We had to get all kinds of new tech working in a single starship. Fifty-hour shifts, epiphanies, accidents. Humans can forget. Salarians can't. To me, it's all still happening. My team is here. Stripping down the Tempest like some broken radio risks everything they suffered to build. Their legacy. I can see how you'd feel that way. Seriously? Well, yeah. Look, Callow, your people did a great job, but they're dead. And they couldn't have anticipated half the problems in Helios. Like the Scourge. If we don't adapt, we'll die too. Is that what you want their legacy to be? Gutting a complex ship out in space isn't adapting. It's irresponsible and disrespectful. What? What? Um... Oh, but Gil is right, but he hasn't been given much of a chance to say his piece, you know? What? I... But we have to be able to adapt. I don't know. What? What? Okay. Uh... It is disrespectful. Gil needs to tone it down and, and confer with Callow, but Callow can't be so uptight about it. You know, it needs to be a middle ground. Why can't why can't I have a middle ground option? Oh, the fine. Tempest I'll has too Callow. many new systems doing new things to just adapt on the fly. If we make changes, let's make them carefully and with respect. Yes. She's your ship. Yes. I just hope you know what you're doing. Ryder, I... I know it's not... Thank you. Okay, it's over. Let's get back to work. But we do need to make changes. We just maybe can't make them on the fly. Okay, now I have to go talk to freaking Gil. Gil, don't shut me out. Devil's advocate, okay? Corporate. Come on, buddy. With the cat entrenched here and things as they are, maybe we should focus our efforts on leaving this cluster. You mean quit, run away? Well, we came to find a new home, not a new enemy, right? We knew this was a possible scenario, and we took the jump anyway. What she said. Hey, Ryder. What's the story? Out with it already. What's the deal with you and Callow? Anything I He's a blueprint girl. If you didn't have me to balance him okay. out, anytime. Are you gonna be mad at me? Let's see. Wait, no. Codex. Uh... Uh, Callow is clearly glad that you understand how he feels. 
you left Gil to his job. You are right. You and Gil are forging a close bond, and he's confiding in you and exploring major life issues. I like Gil. I just I wish there was more to talk to them about. You know. Like all of them. There is sometimes, but not not often. I mean, there's only so much they can do, right? Like, really. I'm gonna have to do it just so that you get off my back about it, Sam. I don't want to play the multiplayer right now. Okay, what? What? You're doing okay in there, buddy. Hello, writer. How are those jokes coming, Sam? Why do Elcor start stampedes? Because they <laughs> wish to be heard. Uh, that was a bad, that thanks, was a bad one. Nothing more. But i uh, give you props for trying. Have any new music? Probably not. Email. Call me from Reyes. Thanks again for your help with Zia and the roll car. I owe you something special and I think I found just a thing. Ooh, I think. You gonna give me something? Interview. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, you were right. From Mildred. You probably remember me, but I stopped on the Nexus and bent your ear about the Angar on our station. You told me to get to know them and I did my best to do. They seem thoughtful and worthy of our trust. So, yeah, you should keep doing what you're doing. Good luck out there. Thanks. That's cool. I'm glad that I got to hear back from that. Oh, yes! Yes! You know that guy, Bailey, you ran down the Nexus, whatever you said to him, he decided to reach out to me. Forwarding his message. Uh, what? I hope you are well. Uh, our time working together in Nexus was invigorating, and I'm sure you are invigorating your colleagues in the Tempest now. I envy them and your Pathfinder, but I suppose the work you're doing now and the pioneers you're supporting need and probably deserve to be invigorated more than the rest of it drones on for six pages like that before he asks me if I'd like to get a drink. I feel invigorated now, don't you? <laughs> ben! He's cute, Gil. He, he might not be Gil's type, you know? Like, Gil is a lot. That guy seemed really sweet, and Gil might be a tiny bit too abrasive for him. Reyes, spread the word at Tartarus and in your port of expert handling the Rokar. I only made a few embellishments and left out my involvement, of course. Wouldn't want to steer spotlight. Not that I really could. You're something else, Ryder. <laughs> wow. In case you were wondering, my taste in women has improved since I ended things with her. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Call him. Oh, on the vid channel upstairs? Okay. Yeah, let me see my, um, I love the jacket look, but I always, it's nice to change things up sometimes. I do have a hoodie. Let's try the long sleeves look. Well, unless maybe... Wait. Maybe change the colors? Oh, wait. Uh, hmm. I like that. Matches our eyes. <laughs> We're going track suit. Uh, green is nice. Maybe like a dark green, maybe? No. Oh, I like the dark. I like the black, actually. All right. The blue, the blue. The blue, the blue, the blue. I like the blue. I do, I do. Wait, no. I think I, ch I messed it up. Hmm. I like these jams. Hmm. Maybe a dark red. That would look nice. Or like a crazy purple blue. Yeah. Let's go with that. 
I like it. I like it. Look at us. We look good. All right, all right. Speak with Carrie about Katara. I don't know who Carrie is. Oh, Katara. Right, the planet. I'm keeping track of things. Video. 